Hi, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SA Accounting Academy. Uh, here's a short clip on one of our previous webinars. I hope that you really do enjoy it. Good morning, everyone. Uh, yeah, the, the, the recorder has started. I've just gotten that notification. My name is Putanang Mutielwa, and um, just to leave the camera on for a few seconds, a few minutes, just so that you can uh, get to see who the voice is behind the screen. I know we've gotten very used to doing our life, our working life online. Um, and I'm just also waiting to see um, who's joining us on the chat. But I'm going to switch off my camera now just also to save myself some of the bandwidth and just make sure that um, I don't disrupt the, um, the connection. Welcome to today's webinar. I know we have issues with load shedding and we're all having to try our very best to plan our lives around those schedules. Um, and to those of you who are able to or have been able to log on and actually attend live, thanks for joining me. Please do give, keep me company in the chat box, guys. Uh, let me know where you're joining from. Let me know what you're looking forward to learning today. And let me know as the lessons or as the pennies drop. And um, I'll be very glad to hear some of that feedback live as we go. So today I will be talking to you about enterprise budgets, forecasts, and cash flow analysis for enterprise success. We're going to cover quite a few concepts and I'm going to rely on you guys and your feedback to let me know if what I am saying makes sense or if you'd like me to expand further on any of the concepts that we are going to be covering. In terms of the contents, I am going to be talking to you about myself, just a brief introduction, the objectives that we're going to be covering today. We're going to talk about the actual budgets, forecast and analysis and the differences between these. And I'll give you some examples just so that you are able to clearly distinguish between um, each of these concepts. I'll give you some notes that I think are very important for you to keep in mind as you go through any of these exercises. And then I'm also gonna take you through some uh, value added services that you should be considering as an accountant for your client. Once again, I'm talking about your client, whether you're working in an accounting firm or you are sitting inside of a finance function in a company, your client is the operations, it's the management within that operation. So please be open-minded around the concept of client. And then lastly, I'm going to be doing um, questions, but in terms of the questions, guys, please keep them coming as and when we go through um, the material. Um, there are a few of you online, guys, Please uh, let me just hear your voices, even if it's just via the chat, uh, just so that I know that I'm not in a room talking to myself. I was supposed to record this and then um, I saw that I'm not having load shedding, so we decided that I'm going to do the event live rather. All right, so about myself, my name is Putanang Mutsie Elwa, as I introduced myself earlier. I am a wife and a mother to a seven-year-old boy and a three-year-old girl. I love traveling. This is my next de destination on the right is Namibia, and I really am planning to go up and climb the dunes this time. The last time I was there was just too hot. I had a baby in my hands, and I could not even attempt to climb. I am a chartered accountant by training. I am also registered as a registered auditor with the ERBA. Um, in terms of employment, I work at PSTM Chartered Accountants. I do serve on a few boards and committees. I love businesses. I love small businesses. I consider myself to be a small business cheerleader. <clears throat> and I'm also a children's book author. I'm very excited about that. I've just signed my first publishing agreement. So these are 
our objectives today. And good morning to all of you that have come into the chat. Ronel Achabani, I hope I'm not butchering your name. I know my name gets butchered a lot and I really hope I'm not butchering yours. There's one delay, Nita, um, David, and Karim. Morning, guys, and I hope that you will enjoy today's session. Helen Silwani, good morning to you guys. We are going to understand and be able to clearly distinguish what is the difference between a budget, a forecast, and a cash flow analysis. Um, all right, <laughs> thanks, Achabani. Thanks for that. Um, and you need to understand in which scenario do you need to do which of these three exercises. Um, we're going to walk through making use of a budget to plan, to, co to coordinate, and to control operations as a means to achieve goal congruence and improved organizational performance. We're going to be using the correct financial and non-financial techniques. Um, to assist you in decision making across your departments or your business, as well as your clients' businesses. We're going to report budgetary and cash flow information to management and clients in a clear and appropriate format that assists us in effective decision making. I think it's very important that we understand that everything that we do is to drive effective business decision making. And then we're going to help you to expand on your advisory role for your clients and point them in the right direction so as to have meaningful conversations about their businesses. All right. So I think just as an introduction um, to you guys um, is that, you know, when we talk financial planning, a lot of us really think about personal finance. And I think, you know, in the media, that's what we literally get to hear about. There's people talking about side hustles and there's just all sorts of talk about personal finance, invest in this, invest in that. But financial planning is a really, really big deal when it comes to businesses. And successful financial planning is a mix between the technical skill, which I think every single one of us on this platform already has. And then we need to talk about our enterprise goals. What are the goals that we are actually working towards? What are the strategies that we are working on at this present moment? And then of course, it's your creativity. Now, I know that we are not necessarily um, you know, when you think about creative people in the world, accountants are not necessarily the first batch or even the 10th batch that you're going to think about. But I think that it's important. I think our clients are starting to demand that side of us to come through. They're not interested in how correct your trial balance is. They're not interested in how correct your tax return is. But what they really want to know is how can you help me enhance the performance of my business. And I'm hoping that I can get to help you to do that today. Accounting, very simply put, it is the language of business. Um, all of us, I think we converse in English. You can learn Setswana, which is my home language. Um, you can learn French, you can learn Spanish, you can learn any language. But this language is universal. It's the accounting. It's the language of business. This is how we all communicate to each other. If I give you a trial balance, you have certain expectations. You know that there should be debits. There should be credits. If I give you a balance sheet, you know there should be an asset section. There should be an equity section. And there should be um, a liability section. Even if it's in French, you do have that expectation and then you can just go to Google Translate to see which section is which section. But you are certainly not expecting to see your expenses on um, the balance sheet. You're not expecting to see some notes and narrative on the balance sheet either. So that is what accounting is. And when we talk about accounting intuition, this um, quote that I found online and I cannot remember now who the person is, um, I should have actually credited them, but if we make the principles of accounting accessible to everyone, then not only will that benefit those particular individuals, 
but society as a whole. I'm a firm believer in the fact that accounting can change the world and accountants can change the world because I think we definitely understand our numbers and we also understand the human side and the human behavior. I hope that you enjoyed that video. For more of our webinar videos, go to www.accountingacademy.co.za. Thank you and have a lovely day.